Pete Gaudet earned $70,000 as an assistant coach of men's basketball at Duke University. When the head coach took a leave of absence, Gaudet became interim head coach. However, while performing the duties of a position with a salary exceeding $200,000, Gaudet received just $12,000 in compensation. In Law v. National Collegiate Athletic Association, the Tenth Circuit considered the legal ramifications of imposing income restrictions on college basketball coaches. In 1995, Norman Law filed a class action against the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or NCAA, on behalf of a group of entry-level Division I basketball coaches, including Pete Gaudet. The association's restricted earnings rule capped most entry-level coaches' maximum annual compensation at $16,000. Law alleged the rule was an unreasonable restraint on trade under the Sherman Antitrust Act. The district court granted Law's motion for summary judgment. The association rescinded the restricted earnings rule a few months later, but immediately began drafting a replacement rule imposing similar restrictions. Before the association could move forward with the new rule, the district court issued a permanent injunction barring the association from attempting to enforce any restrictions limiting coaches' income. The association appealed to the Tenth Circuit. In 